All right, here we go. We get the mic problems figured out. Maine and UNH did tie, but it's on to basketball as teams at the halfway point trying to build up those heel points and find their identity. Westbrook, one of those teams on the boys' side, they lost three straight going into a matchup with eight and three. Wyndham, Zach Manusian taking things into his own hands, hits the three. He had 20. Other way for Wyndham. Hunter Coffin rattles home the three. Eagles hanging around. Westbrook can answer. Landon Soberg, who stepped up his game, the short J. The Manusian looks like a stall, but he finds Soberg. 55 47. Westbrook, a big win. They're up to third in A South. Heel points. Unbeaten Greeley hosting Freiburg. Early third for the Rangers. Luke Miller, the three. Trey Bien. Freiburg refused to go away though. Oscar Saunders in the corner, can't leave him alone. He had 13. Greeley's able to survive though. Zach Brown, got to be one of the best defensive players in the state. Look at that, another steal. That's all he does. He had 13 or 15, 49-41 Greeley. 34 straight wins ties the program record for the Rangers. Brunswick hosting Meselonski in North South A crossover. Noah Cox, what a season he's had. Drains the three, 14 of his 16 points in the first half. Dragons at eight threes, including this one from Dawson Hebert, who had 11. 65 45, Dragons are nine and three. Unbeaten Portland at Cheverson, double A action. Bulldogs by 18 in the fourth. Simon Chadburn, nice dish to Ethan Tay. Acrobatic finish. Then Pedro Von Seca, crossover, Euro step, finish. 59-37 Portland, they're 11 0 at Scarborough tomorrow. South Portland visiting Deering. All Red Riots heading into the fourth up 45-25. And that continues. Noah Malone, he had 18. Then Malone kicks it out to Connor Buckley, another three. 54-42 South Portland the win. Sanford traveling to Bonnie Eagle. Early going. Scott's pumping inside to William Hendricks. The mean up fake. Scott's an early lead, but Bonnie Eagle had no answer for Sanford's Leighton Bickford. The nice touch from the corner. Sanford started the year 0 6. They've won three of their last six now. It's Bickford again. Sanford outscored BE 17 10 in the fourth to win 52 48. Thornton and Gorham on paper looked like a good matchup. It was not. William Chapman working inside the pivot and the finish for TA. Then Jack Pizinski, the nice move to Chapman. Thornton wins at 66 40, and they jump Gorham into the four spot in AA South standings. Big crowd in Auburn, Lewiston and EL. Eddie's going inside, Wall may win. Rejected, that doesn't happen very often, but he gets his own rebound, puts it back. On the inbounds play, who's the most dangerous player? How about the inbounder? Darby Shea, back to Tyler Morin. EL rolls 73-39. NYA boys hosting Old Orchard Beach in a C-South matchup, third quarter. Teandre King, Manchild inside. He had 25, Panthers down by three. But the other way, Ian Regan, He's had a pretty good season himself. Had 22. Tough finish. 52-35. Old Orchard's now 5-5. Five and five. Freeport hosting Yarmouth in a Route 1 rivalry game. Third quarter, Noah Eckersley with Ray. Left alone. The short J. He knocks it down. Clippers would later go up by 9. Eckersley Ray had 14. Freeport trying to answer. Colby Wagner for 3. Closing seconds of the quarter. Caden Middleton, the three for the Clippers. They win it 43-36. They're eight and four. Good matchup in Wells tonight. Warriors hosting Gray to Gloucester. John Martin on the fast break. Finishes. Patriots up eight in the fourth on the road, but the Warriors respond. Christian Salder for three. He had 21. Warriors take the lead. Then Martin, who else for Gray? Answers. He had 22. Patriots go back on top. Wells, what do they do? They get it inside. Cam Cousins gives the Warriors the lead. But in the final minute, Martin clutch at the line. 55-53. Gray prevails on the road. They're 7 and 5. Waterville looking for its first win at Moranacook. Bears some sweet passing. Brian Riley to Silas Moeller. Then Moeller makes a play on defense. The steal and hoop. 86-30 Moranacook. Sixth time they've scored over 70 points this year. Trey visiting Wayne Fleet in a C-South matchup. Trape hot from the outside early going. Dalen Hubbard's three gives Trape an 11-10 lead. He had 21. Flyers shipped into transition. Derej Daya, a one-man fast break. He had 17. Then Abdi Muhammad, a nice look to Dominic Campbell. 66-45 Wayne Fleet. On the girls' side, a few weeks back, Portland ended Gorham's long win streak. The Bulldogs tonight a chance to end MGA's nine-game win streak to start the year. We head to the Expo, where Portland led 22-16 at the half, but the main girls' academy comes back. Katie Fitzpatrick, she had 14. They pull within one. Bulldogs step up with the D. Jemima Motima, the steal. Sophomore had 13. And Amanda Kabuntu, her cousin with a steal and hoop, 
Motima had a late three to break a 37-37 tie, and Portland hands MGA its first loss, 42-39. That left South Portland as the only other unbeaten team in AA girls taking on Deering. Red Rides D turns to O. Megan Graff the steal and land. She had 18. Later on, Graff the push to Maggie Whitmore, who had 15. 49-40, South Portland's 10-0. Mountain Valley Conference, C South, number two Monmouth hosting number three Madison. For Madison, Lauren Hay, the putback. We have a 13 13 game in the second. Defending state champs, though, go on a run. Tia Day off the top of the backboard. How'd she get that to go? Then Audrey Fletcher, a nice cut to the hoop. Mustangs end the second on a 17 6 run. Day, one of the top shooters you're going to find in the state. 12 of her 15 in the second quarter, nails the three. Monmouth, 53 38. They prevail over Madison. NYA girls hosting Old Orchard Beach off the opening tip. Caitlin Cody to the hoop for the Seagulls. Other way, Helen Hamlet feeds Sydney Palmer for the land, but the Seagulls too strong. 56-34, Old Orchard is 9-2 on the year. Gorham hosting Thornton Academy. Rams, Michelle Rowe did not score in this one, but doing a lot to impact the game. Saves it here, then finds Adele Nadeau for the basket. Then Rowe on D steps in the passing lane and starts the break. Finds Brittany Discharden. 45-30, Gorham. Mackenzie Holmes at 26. Class A girls matchup York at Cape Elizabeth tonight. York's Julia Babcock. Camping out on the perimeter, buries it, Wildcats by eight. Brooke Harvey did what she could to keep the capers in it. The beautiful hesitation move and scoop, but York would win this one 43-33 on the road. Freeport hosting Yarmouth. Taylor Rinaldi showing off the crossover. Here it is, then the open J after the crossover. For Yarmouth in transition, Sarah DiApollonia, the lay-in, Clippers by two after one. But Falcons answer, Allie Goodman, the foul line J, 46-36, Freeport there, nine and two. Defending D South champion Vinyl Haven, or rather D champion Vinyl Haven at Highview Christian Vikings on the break. Deja Doty, the lay in. Julian Davis Oaks, the hoop here. They start on a 19 0 run and win at 57 to 27. All right, let's go back to boys. Hamden hosting Brewer. Hamden's off to a great start this year in the North Broncos. Hunter Doherty gets the basket. They are now 12 1 with a 70 36 win. That right there, Hoops 8. If you missed any of it, it'll be on WMTW.com in a moment. Roger.